There's no stopping us. No stopping If we come together, we all just work it out. There's no stopping us. No stopping. I think it's time we come together. No stopping us. So E Styles came to Los Angeles. Uh-huh. There you go. And he he connected with me yeah. through a family member. And I said, okay, this has to be real because he knows things about the new technology and the new generation. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. was me being humble and accepting bridging the gap. That's it. Also, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Some people some people stay stagnant because of their ego, whatever. Yeah. We didn't have that problem. No. And so we're both growing together. That's it. And at the end of the day, I met his mom and dad. Yeah. And they love shrimp. You know, they and so if, if, if I can inspire a young brother or somebody else, yeah. it makes it all worthwhile because guess what? We right. pass that knowledge on. That's it. And he could become his greatness and let him let him spread his, his butterfly wings. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So it, right, right. my mentorship... Yeah. It, it's uh, it's coming back to me by seeing how he grows with the respect I give him. I appreciate that. And Ali, I even off the record too. You know, before we got involved in this, you know, you were even cool, Ali, where we talked. And you, oh, man, yeah. man, you work with the best, Ali. You work with MJ. You work with Stevie Wonder. It's Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. You can't get to no bigger than that. And that's all on YouTube, right? I did, I, right. did, I did the research. I was like, wow. Well, Tell them to put it in the search. That's right. That's right. Google search. Hit the button. Do the research. Yeah, yeah. We don't got a lot about what we his do. Name. You, you Say can his name. You can Google our stuff. Everything pops up, right? So I was kind of like a humbling experience working with the mic and someone like you because I'm like, I'm just an independent guy. But you guys embraced me, made me feel comfortable, and it's been a pleasure, man. And I appreciate it. If you wanted to share also like something about when you were on tour with some of these do you got any any memorable moments because i know you toured with the jacksons rolling stone no it was uh, again when you trying to do stuff and you have people that's in your uh business yeah. that are coming up to you uh take the time okay uh I, like i said i get letters requests i was even telling him about some kid over in London that emailed me because he was trying to find a cut that was on the movie, but it wasn't on the soundtrack. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't even know that uh, Ice T had something on the on the uh, in the movie. Oh yeah, and, and you can only have at that time they were really strict about uh, how many cuts they wanted on the album right. politically. Yeah, so they didn't want to do it, but a lot of things don't make the album but they were an important part on the movie. This is, you know that scene where they coming down, remember you guys are coming down the hill, it was like at a fairground, then y'all was coming up the street. Yes, uh-huh. yes. Uh-huh. Electric. Like that was, one, was it that showed you all the different uh, nationalities. You could just look at that crowd of people. Well, yeah, it's, interesting. Yeah. it's interesting that you brought that up because as times were changing, yeah. a lot uh-huh. of the new generation when it comes yeah. to L.A., they saw straight out of Compton and they yeah. saw South yeah. Central. True. But what we did with Breaky 2, mm-hmm. we moved right over to East L.A. That's right. And it was very true. Back then, there was no, there was a group of people who said, That's we're going to dance, we're going right. to pop, we're going to disco dance, mm-hmm. you can have your lowrider, everybody's cool, respectful, yeah. you know, and there was no racism. No. So that group of people, yeah. when, the, when the casting call came out for extras, Power 106 said, look, they're yeah. filming Breaking 2. Yeah. Those people were from East L.A., San yeah. Fernando, Orange County. Yeah. That's yeah, why they were like, yeah, man, Turbo. I'm totally, totally beach. And I'm going to hit some wavage, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Leg warmers, waving. We could relate, man. So if you look at those people, we had surfers, Albanians, Guamanians, That's Samoans. Right. Oh, we had everybody there. And you know what? That was very that was historic for East LA mm-hmm. because East LA there was a few movies you know like 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 Colors and Mi Vida and Boulevard Nights that just portrayed okay it's just That's all it. Hispanic but there are a lot of Hispanics that were in the soul music and on Soul That's Train right. and right. a lot of Filipinos and Samoans and you know what what's really beautiful these kids these days mm-hmm. need to know our community is what you make it yeah. and there's a lot of people no matter what color you are that listen to your music, That's right. that wear your clothes, that eat your food, that yeah. hey! Yeah, let me say <laughs> something, let me say something. He's very true, and I'll, I'm gonna make two points. 
that song you were talking about, DJ Franco said, I want to bring that back. Ali, it's we, we got to get together. That song that didn't make the soundtrack. Uh, my guy, my DJ, he, he wants to bring it back. Oh, he's got tracks yeah, today. Why not? He's, he's the musician. He knows it. And then I got to say this other thing. What Mike said about all those people coming together, I loved it because it showed me a lot of times growing up hip hop, the only time we get to know about a certain place is through like a movie or a video. So with this, it showed like a different kind of what, because the media likes to put out bad stuff, you know. This shows something positive. Will Smith showed that positive can make a lot of dollars. You know, he was in Men in Black, but Will Smith is lyrical too. The dude can flow. So like Will knows the power of positivity because he's proved it. And this movie showed the power of positivity. That's why it did so well. And people are still talking about it today. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Ali, what was, so, what was so interesting that he brought up Will Smith. The movie was so popular while the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was on the air. Yeah. There's one episode where he was going in a talent show and he's dancing, oh, Apache, jump on it. I remember. Where he says, Boogaloo Shrimp. And I mean, Carlton and Will, they, they, they literally said my name, Boogaloo Shrimp. Yeah. And he's dancing. Uh. So for me, you know what? I I really I'm really blown away at how much this movie translated to hip hop. Yeah. I mean, the late Tupac Shakur, the late Tupac Shakur's name yeah. in Above the Rim was Boogaloo. That's right. It's very true. Tupac yeah. was in that movie Above the Rim. His name was Boogaloo. Miles Brown, baby Boogaloo. I'm like this. So yeah. That, that, I, know, I did I did some studio work. I did Sarge Mansion. Oh That's wow. Me. He That's you, Ali. That is not you, Ali, on that song. Bro, we're gonna talk yeah. more. I, lo I love that. How do Tell I him to put it in the search. That's right. Time to break through. Let's go.